great. Well, I ended up getting it almost all together last night. You seen the video. Today I set the fuel tank on it, did up the lines. Now I didn't put the loader on yet because the loader has a crack in that, that one part of the frame. So I'm probably going to take the loader over very shortly and I will weld that up and maybe assemble it tomorrow. I'll show you how it runs after sitting most of last summer and all winter. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'll show you what it's like here. A little throttle. <laughs> Remember, maybe you don't know. The reason I took it apart is because when I pushed in on the clutch, I couldn't get it in gear because the, the pressure plate was broke on it and the clutch disc was wore out, so it wasn't driving very good either. I'll show you what it's like now. My fenders are not solid because the loader arms hold it together, so you're going to see the fenders wiggle a little bit. That's mine. This is probably as good a place as any to start welding up this uh, loader part of the loader frame. It's been broke for quite a while. I imagine it was broke even before I got it. I'm gonna see if I can wedge that back into place and weld that up, maybe get it on the tractor. I got the back all ground out. I v-grooved it all, I welded her up. Now I'm gonna clean all along here and put a large plate on there the best I can. Then I'm going to grind out all this where it had cracked and weld that up as well. I think if I shape that plate right, that might be just fine. So I'm going to uh, trace around where that's going to go and then I will cut it off. I'll tack it on there and then I'll trim it to the uh, dimensions I want it. I've got a good long tack on there just to hold it and I clamp this down on this side. I'll weld it first and then I'll trim it off later. Probably not going to go with a diamond pattern. I think I'll just go a square pattern on this. First bead laid down. You can see where I lap the other one in there. Okay, well that's one side all done up there. I put about four passes on there, I guess. Uh, three, four, yeah, four, five, I guess. And this is the other side done here too. Didn't turn out as good looking, but that's okay. It'll still be pretty darn solid. There's quite a few passes on that as well. Now I just have to shape the ends here and weld that up as well. And I'm going to put the loader on probably today. Okay, well I just got back from having a little bite to eat here. So this is what I did. I just trimmed it up like this. And I ground it really good around the corners. Now I'm going to fill in all around there and weld all the way around the corners. And I'm going to do the same on this side as well. And I think uh, by the time I'm done, 
This would be a pretty sturdy little patch on that. Figured while I was at it too, I would put uh, a couple more passes on the other side as well that I did quite a while ago. Just to make sure I didn't like the way it looked in there. It wasn't cracked. But uh, anyway, I thought I would give another good shot around there and bring it up to, to par and uh, around this corner too. It's not going to win no, no uh, beauty contest, this old loader, but... Hopefully those two plates there are going to be thick enough. Now I hope it don't end up breaking here. That's a possibility, but I don't see it breaking this year. Maybe another couple years, maybe five years, who knows. But I think it's good for now. I'm going to see if I can get that back on the tractor now. Alright, well it's a little late in the evening, but I ended up getting the loader all back on it. A little bit of an oil leak underneath, but not too, too bad. Uh, leak some out of the cylinders, which is good anyway, because if there's any kind of moisture in there, it blew the blew the liquid out. I will scrape that up. I'll put some sand on that, and clean up some of that old oil that's sprayed under there. But it's uh, just had to put new hydraulic oil in it, do up a few more hoses, and it's back into service. I will bolt the hood on it very shortly. Anyway, that's how she's looking. All back together starts and runs good I have to hook up some of these uh, hydraulic lines right down in here other than that not too too bad and the hood